coming up on this theme park newsroom. I'll be sharing the latest on the dual overhaul, secret weapon 9, and also a little bit about Nemesis Subterra. I'll be sharing all the rumours, leaks and evidence, and sharing my final thoughts. This is another brand new theme park newsroom here on Ghost of Chow YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the C-H-A-L-L, Donkster Born, but built for theme parks, and your theme park journalist, and welcome to a brand new video. Now today, we are speaking about the Alton Towers Resort. This is the follow-on video from the closing date of Jewel, uh, the 6th of September, 2022. I am so sorry I cannot attend Alton Towers on that day. It would have been amazing to get there for Jules' final day, but never mind. You guys now will be there for the opening day of next season, so don't you worry about that. And of course, we've got a scare festival to look forward to, so there's still a chance to go to Alton Towers. Now, I'll be taking a look at the construction if I do get out to Scarefest this year. But let's move on from that and speak about a couple of things about Alton Towers today. First of all, around that Jewel thing, maybe a little bit on Subterra, and Secret Weapon 9. Now, let's start off with jewel so let's share with you the latest updates from the creative director john burton so before we get started please do like comment subscribe cut that case boss and let me shoot your video and for now let's share with you the first update from alton towers today so john tweeted this can't put my finger on what lies in store but i feel what's to happen all happened before so we know john burton is the creative director over as part of the Merlin group, should we say. Merlin Magic Making. And basically, this tweet is very, very interesting. It, it, it's definitely um, raised some eyebrows, shall we say. Now, the reason why it's raised eyebrows is because of the, 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 the closing date of Jewel. But also, what lies in store? What lies? Now, the what lies bit has got people even more frantic because it relates to Nemesis of Terror's old campaign, Nemesis What Lies Beneath, which was the code name for the project over the 2011 construction going into 2012 before the ride opened as Nemesis of Terror. Now, obviously, I don't think they intended to do anything with Subterra with that tweet. Uh, I do think this hints towards the dual refurbishment, though I think this does relate to what was announced yesterday with the closing date of the ride. Um, now, that is just one uh, little bit, bit of evidence. It could be absolutely nothing to do with anything. Could just be a tweet. Uh, but we know the coaster enthusiast community, we know the theme park enthusiast community, something must be linked, surely. <laughs> um, but now, for me, I think it is linked. I think it is linked to the jewel overhaul for, for, for next year, which we know will probably happen next year now. Um, or open next year, shall we say. Um, but the, the phrase, if we're going off that basis, though, what uh, by feel what's to happen, all happened before. Another hint that the haunted house is coming back to its old roots, maybe in a new way, or a classic with a twist kind of way. Um, so for me, that's where I stand on that particular situation. So before we sort of sum up my thoughts on all of that and sum up my thoughts on uh, that tweet and what it relates to, let's speak about what else has been talked about by Alton Towers. Um, now, obviously, that bit was about Jewel, a little bit on Subterra as well. Personally, I do believe Subterra may come back. Uh, but at this stage, I'm still, I'm sort of tone 50-50 at the moment, whether it's between a Scarefest attraction or Subterra returning next year or at Scarefest, you never know. But um, for me, I think, you know, it's going to be uh, interesting with Subterra. So that's Subterra, that's Jewel. Now let's talk about Secret Weapon 9 and what exactly has been going on. So... We have an announcement from a guy called Nathan Graveson. Now, he's a designer who works for Intamin. He designed the likes of Velocicoaster, Tutalis, and the Parquet Warner Madrid Launch Coaster. He's announced that he's now a project director for Merlin Magic Making. Now, 
This is where it gets interesting. So I'm going to read you his full announcement or statement. I have a massive announcement. Since my recent departure from Intamin as a thrill coaster designer, I've recently been hired as Mil by Miller Magic Making and have officially begun uh, being made the project director and designer for Alton Towers, Thought Park, and the Legoland Parks. This means I've now moved on from just coaster layout design to full coaster and theming design, which will test my artist qualifications I got at university all them years ago. When I worked for Intamin, I was actually allowed to do some area design as well. So you'll see that at Park Asterix Fortutalis, which I designed the theming for. And looking back, I worked closely with Universal Orlando on the Velocicoaster project. I can officially say that the final project that I did for Intamin was the new Batman coaster at Parque Warner Madrid, which gives you a hint, by the way, Parque Warner Madrid fans, at the theme of that coaster. Um which I can tell you is the best layout I've done for a coaster, which I look forward to you all to see and ride. So look out in the future for us um, at Mer Magic Making are going to be developing some incredible attractions. Alton Towers Secret Weapon 9, Thought Park's Project Exodus, Chessington's World Jumanji, and the various Legoland projects coming. So I say thank you for your amazing reception to my coaster designs at Intamin, and I look forward to your reactions to our future attractions um just absolutely wow so that proves that secret weapon 9 is in the flaming pipeline uh from that statement from the former intamin thrill coaster designer now now like i said he is now project direct a uh, project director at miller magic making at, at triple m um what does this mean for uh, for the Alton Tower Secret Weapon 9 project? Does this hint that Intamin will manufacture Secret Weapon 9 even at this early stage? I really don't think so. I don't think you should be. Uh, I don't think people should be getting too ahead of themselves on this one. This is just confirming that it's in the pipeline. So, usually when we sort of hear the first hints of a brand new roller coaster, it's usually three or four years before it opens. So. I would maybe say that this particular project will open probably around the between 2026 and 2028 at the very very late at latest. So I would say that between 2026, maybe maybe when Nemesis has its uh, retra its refurbishment open. So a year since so by by the time we're in 2024, and by the time Jules overhaul will have been open open for about a season. A Nemesis's overhaul will be starting to open. We may start to hear stuff about planning applications for Secret Weapon 9 for 2026, 7, or 8. Maybe a year after Nemesis is opening, uh, reopening in 2024. Maybe a year after that, we'll start hearing rumors about Secret Weapon 9's planning applications. So, I'm not going to begin speculating on where Secret Weapon 9 will go. I'm going to wait maybe a year for that. Uh, so that is a year. That video will be a year in the making. So I, I will make sure the video quality on that is spot on. But let's share my final thoughts on everything that's been revealed in this video from Jewel to Subterra Rumors and Secret Weapon 9. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seekers of All Ages. That is the latest from Alton Towers Resort. Jewel overhaul next year. Nemesis reopening a year later. Secret Weapon 9 in a few years. The pipelines are starting to get packed now. And John Waldy did come out and say about Alton Towers' next big, next big thing that he's excited that the the thing he's excited about the most is the new roller coaster technology coming to Alton Towers. And we just and obviously today we've just confirmed that SW9 is in the pipelines. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Like I said, I don't think this necessarily, because we've got a former Intamin thrill coast designer now working at Merlin Magic Making, that doesn't automatically assume that Intamin will be involved in the project, Secret Weapon 9. I don't think that is the case at all. Look at Chessington's new project, that's B&M. Look at Thought Park's Hypercoaster, that is more or less going to be Matt Wright. Some of the Legoland projects will be different manufacturers. That wouldn't necessarily mean that Intamin will be involved in Secret Weapon 9. They, they may well be involved in Secret Weapon 9, but it's not 100% certain. So, new roller coaster technology coming to Alton Towers is the most excited John Ward has been recently. So, again, that kind of hints towards something that's new and unique. So, you're sort of looking at things like um, Axis single rail coasters uh, a new type of coaster that hasn't been revealed yet that's in the works and that'll be the first of its kind in the world kind of thing again i'm not going to go on too much about the sw9 because 
you know, it's, it's still a long way away. But it definitely gives off exciting signs about the next Secret Weapon project and proves that it is in the pipeline. So you can bet your lucky backsides I will be covering Secret Weapon 9 over these next few years. Stay tuned for that. I may even have the opportunity, maybe, to do a full construction series on Secret Weapon 9. So stay tuned for that because a lot of a lot can happen in the next couple of years. On Subterra, like I said, I think the what lies bit of that statement from John Burton, I think I don't think it's related to Subterra at all. I think that's just a coincidence that it's sort of similar to what lies beneath, uh, which is the, like I said, the, co the code named uh, promotional campaign for Subterra back in 2011 2012. Um, but overall, I would say on Subterra, I'd say it's still 50 50 at the moment between Scarefest and Subterra returning next year. It would be nice though, Subterra return next year. Like I say, if you imagine getting this dual overhaul, and then Subterra returning, both next year, you've got yourself a nice, decent lineup of a couple of new attractions for, for 2023. And it means you're still spending quite a bit of money. Because I'm sure there's a lot of, I'm sure there's quite a bit of money going into this dual refurbishment or overhaul into whatever it's going to be next year. Speaking of dual overhaul, like I said, that tweet from John Burton relating to that, I think it definitely gives off another sign that the Haunted House is coming back, either in a new way or its classic roots in a modern fashion. So I think that's what you'd probably expect from this. Um, so to sum up then, uh, dual overhaul, I'd expect the Haunted House back in some kind of new way. Subterra, either it's 50-50 between Subterra coming back or Scarefest Maze. I'd like to see Subterra come back, but I wouldn't be surprised at Scarefest Maze and that would be the home of the new maze for this year. And then finally, we've got uh, Secret Weapon 9. Like I said, I'm not going to make too many guests on Secret Weapon 9 at this stage. That's for the future. That's for the long-term future. That video will be a year in the making, as I've said. So hopefully it's a good video. Um, but like I said, Secret Weapon 9 is in the pipelines. It's definitely going to happen in a few years. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I am the C-H-A-L-L. -L, your Doncaster based theme park journalist, Doncaster born but built for theme parks, keep living the coast of life. I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a towers-tastic day.